Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Friends, today join me. We're gonna be working on our set. We're gonna be transitioning from Valentine's to Easter. I've got a whole lot of stuff going on here. We may or may not use any of it or all of it. Um, one thing I did wanna share with you is I'm gonna be crafting a couple of things as we go along as well. Friends, we picked up a few things that are new over the weekend. So, come on, let's get started. Okay, friends, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this burlap table runner on the back counter here. I really wanted uh, a piece of greenery um, the green grass looking table runner, but I'll have to order that. But this is gonna work for right now. One thing that I have to have, friends, is my little tree. This tree has been around for a very long time. My kids and daughter-in-laws painted some of these ornaments on my Easter tree, so it's a must. I put this out every year. These ornaments were made by my kids different times, different years, and uh, when my daughter-in-laws were dating the boys, they took time to paint some at Easter, so it's kind of like my little memory tree, and I just love it, so it has to, um, it has a place here. Remember these silly little iridescent trees that I bought at the Dollar Tree? I put two of them together and I happen to have this little box that says Happy Easter that I got from Ross a long time ago. I stuck it in there. It already had some tissue paper and then I've got some, um, I got some garland from Dollar General and wrapped it around there. And yes, friends, I went back to the Dollar Tree and I found these little tin picks right here. And uh, I know it looks kind of wonky right now, but I'll have to add a bow and add some more decoration to it. But I'm going to plug it in and see how it looks on this corner right here. Oh, yes, it's going to work. Oh, how cute. It just needs... It needs a bow here and we'll be working on that. Wow, I don't know what to do next. I think that we need to put... We picked this up at Hobby Lobby this weekend and I actually ordered another one because they just had one that was in good condition. The rest were warped. But um, I think that they will look really good up here, but I'm going to start with by putting this one up and I, when the other one comes in, we'll have two and we'll redecorate. Hey, Eric, this thing's heavy. Yeah, a little bit. Wow. Mm. Pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to use these or not. I think that's going to be too much. What do you think? I think I need that egg in the middle. I need to take the tag off. I just fell in love with these. I was gonna make one, I mean a couple of them, and uh, since these were already made, and they were only $12.98 at Walmart, I decided to go ahead and get them. I don't know, what do you think? Until I start making my uh, projects, we can use it just fillers. Just fillers for right now. Oh, I like them. What do you think, Eric? Yeah, leave them. Just set up more stuff and see. Okay, let's, uh, I do want this sign right quick. Let me put the tabs. Where did I? I know I have tabs. This is my cheat table. I only have one contact on, so um, let's see. This goes to the back. Some people only have one eye, so it's a problem. <laughs> the problem is I had to have eye drops in my left, my left eye and I couldn't put, 
my contact on because I have allergies so bad. My dry eyes. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my gosh. How about right there? Does that look straight? Um, it's hard to tell from here, especially with your... My big filler. hair in the way? No, your, your egg fillers are in the way. I can't see the edges to tell you. How about right there? Sure. Oh, I love it. Okay, so um, how about, I've had this bunny forever. And I like him because he lights up, but he may be too much in the center. So let me put him over here by the... Oh, friends, I like the way this is looking already. Oh, he still lights up after all these years. I think he came from Avon. And I want to say my mom gave me that. Do we need the chick? Put it on the opposite side. Right here? Offset the bunny. Oh, my honeyto gave me this chick. That's cute. Oh, he's perfect there. Oh, friends, you know me, I get so excited. I just love the way it's looking. Okay, now, um, let me see. Okay, friends, remember I bought those white plates on my Dollar Tree haul? This is serious, three sets of scissors there. We'll clean up in a little bit. Okay, I painted them with the pink paint. And then uh, it's the paint that has the little wine glass on the top that I told you about the folk art. Uh, I painted, I think I gave it two or three coats and then I put it in the oven at 250 for uh, 20 minutes and then I let it cool off in the oven when I turned it off so that you can put, it's safe to put your uh, treats on it. I know Eric told me that I needed a bigger plate in the bottom for my little tear tray here for my fake goodies, but that's all I could find at the time, so it's going to have to work. And friends, it's going to look so pretty. Wait till you see. Oh boy, here we go. Is this the center? Sure. Did I put hot glue on there? Enough? I didn't see you put any. I've been sitting here waiting for you to put it on there. Okay. I didn't think so. Here we go, right there. Well, let me do this first. I get ahead of myself, but y'all already know me. Friends, this is going to look so pretty and it's so inexpensive to make. The reason I use this, the smaller part, the candlestick part on the bottom, is so that you can have more room to put, put your cupcakes or your treats on. I'm just going to scrape that off right quick. Let's do this, since we already have the E6000 on that. Oh boy, here we go again. Oh my gosh, how do I know if it's the center? Well, the for, for me, I would have marked it out ahead of time. I would have found the center of the plates and... Oh, good thinking. Good thinking, son, now you tell me. <laughs> use a Sharpie or something to put a little mark that's gonna get covered up anyways. Friends, use a Sharpie to put a mark on it. Does that look good? Um, First of all, that um, didn't work. Um, I'm going to guesstimate. I'm not going to put too much glue in case I have to take it off. So let's do that. You might as well fully commit. <laughs> okay, I'll fully commit. All right. Here goes nothing. Oy. But you, you better move it back towards you. Towards me? Yeah, because it's hanging like way off over the front of the... Okay, how about, how about right there? Yeah. That looks that's, more even. That's better. 
Let me see. Can you tell? It's still a little far forward. Just to slide it back just a little bit towards you. No, slide it back towards you. Okay. Top plate. Well, now it didn't want to stick. You know what? Okay. We already know where it's at. What my to... problem is, is that I have my glue gun on low. Do That's you... what the problem is. You take that glue off. Should have probably done that before you put more glue on. Eric, it's quit. <laughs> Saying. <I'm> just... <laughs> Friends. Just saying. <laughs> okay, guide me again. Does that look good? No, you're too far forward again. Yeah. Right there? Mm hmm. At least from this side. Let me see from this side. Goodness. Close enough. Goodness. I never have this much trouble when I. When I do it by myself. <laughs> but I'm sure it's not straight either. Okay, let's do some E6000. looks about right. Sort of. Oh, I'm going to put it like right around there. Is that right? Yeah. So everybody's getting a three craft video on one. Yes. So when you don't have three crafts to upload this week, it's because it was all in this one video. <laughs> and friends, I already made these cute little uh, Easter cupcakes. Look, look at how cute they are. They are adorable. Why are you laughing? <laughs> the top is so crooked. Is it? It's so it, Oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> just, it is. I mean, it's, it's cool if you were making it like asymmetrical. <laughs> like, it could be cool like that, you know, it had very much like that mid-century with the shape going on and everything. Oh like that. my gosh. It's going from worse to worse-er, if that's a word. You got to heat it now. I see the smoke coming yeah, off. Yeah, I do too. Yes. Uh, you got a drip going on the front. We'll make that the back. Okay. I see. I'm not about to stick my finger on yeah, it. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. Ay, 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 I already learned that lesson over and over again. Okay, let's see. How about right there? <laughs> Pull it back towards you a little bit. Yeah, right there. Okay. Nope. Pull it back towards you. You had it, and then it's, it's, and you moved it forward just like okay. that. Pull it back okay. towards you. Pull it back towards you. Okay, right there? Yeah, straight down. No, every time you start to move it forward, pull it back. It's too far off. This is never going <laughs> to... Stop it! <laughs> I'm only here to help. Okay, okay, right there? Yes, just go down with it. You don't know how to go straight down, do you? Okay, down? Look, down is you just go straight down. Like that? No, you move it forward every time I say down. You Like right there? You want me to show you? Like right there? Yeah, that's good now. There, that's good. good. That looks good to me. I don't know why you just make a big fuss out of that. Well, it was really crooked. <laughs> no way. If you're going to make the top crooked, you're going to make the bottom crooked. Okay, friends. I'm going to let that sit for just a minute. But look at these cute little cupcakes. Oh my gosh. They look good enough to eat. I have a friend that said she's going to make some for her grandkids' baskets. Good I just hope that she tells them that they're not real. 
Okay, I'm going to show you how easy it is to decorate one of those. Okay, friends, you can refer back to my video where I showed you how to decorate and how to make these uh, fake cupcakes. I'm going to show you how easy. And I already had this mix ready. How easy is that? Friends, it doesn't get any easier than that. Okay. Ta da And these are those vase fillers that I used from that haul. I mean, I bought them from um, the Dollar Tree. How cute is this? I'm going to sprinkle a little glitter on it. Is that what you forgot? I forgot a plate and I forgot. Well, you can always sprinkle the glitter afterwards. In fact, it's better afterwards because uh, your little fillers will attach better. Look at that. And remember, I told you, friends, that you need to have a little uh, a little piece of cardboard with wax paper on it and then you put your tape so it won't flip over on you because they are top heavy. I'm going to put them... I didn't leave myself any room for them. But how about there? There you go. Simple as that. Okay, friends, the next thing I'm going to show you is how easy it can be to make this pinwheel. Uh, these pinwheels are so uh, festive looking and they're so easy to make. I'm going to show you. You're going to need nine decorative sacks and you need to place them with the flap part facing towards you. You're going to take it and you're just going to run your glue across. And of course, let's get a glue stick. All right. I picked up these sacks at the Dollar Tree. They have them in the party section and they have them in all different colors and styles. They have polka dots, the chevron, um, the solid colors. Friends, you can make all kinds of different pinwheels to suit your um, your theme of your celebration. And they're so fast and easy to make. I've been making these since before, before they were popular. I mean, before they were sold in stores. I always used them for my backgrounds for pictures. Okay. You just run your hot glue across the top and down the center, and you cannot go wrong. I can probably go wrong, but not you. You can do it. And if you mess up, friends, it'll be all right. Okay, you've got all your bags glued. And what I like to do, and friends, you're going to need a good pair of scissors, heavy duty scissors. Um, mine are kind of wore out because I, I use them on things that I'm not supposed to. You're going to cut a little triangle. This is only optional if you want. I cut a little triangle in them. Kind of not quite midway, but it, it doesn't matter. You can do it anyway, and it's still going to look good. Okay, oops.
whoops, I went a little bit too far on that, but that's okay. It's going to be all right. And then what I do, friends, is I fold this part over just to give myself a mark. And then about the same on this side. See, right there you've got your mark. Now you're going to cut. friends you've got your bags all glued together you've got your little cutouts going on and here's where the magic starts look at that perfect now what you need to do is you need to glue run the glue gun just like you did the bags across them together and usually I use the cool glue on this because you have to kind of press it together and it's a little hot aye 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 but friends it is looking so cute and I'm just going to use I got this garland at the Dollar Tree and I knew it was going to come in handy. And since I made one earlier in the blue chevron color and we used a yellow flower, I'm going to use a yellow flower on this one as well. You don't have to put anything in the center. I just kind of like to go that extra step. Okay, and now so that you can hang it, I use fishing line. You just kind of, I just kind of grab a little piece like this and just kind of make a knot. Well, maybe, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure they'll be able to tell anyways. I know. It's okay. Kind of, it's kind of hard to film fishing wire. Because it's transparent. But you just kind of make a loop. Just cut it. And what I do is I just pick, um, I just pick like just a place where I'm going to glue it onto. Just add some glue. and attach it in one of the creases hold it for a second till it dries all right now you're ready to hang them up okay friends I think it's time to, I made this one earlier. Look how pretty that blue is. It looks so festive and so Eastery. I think I'm going to go ahead and finish decorating the set. Oh, Eric, I love it. I love it. Oh my 
my goodness, one may be lower than the other, but we'll work on that. Oh, they're so pretty. I love them. And I'll just, I'll just put this one right. The good thing about those is they'll stand. They'll stand in the background. Oh, friends, how pretty is that? I love it. Be sure and comment and let me know what you think. I'm going to add the your... tray very carefully. <laughs> Lean, oh, leaning tower of cupcakes. My leaning tower of cupcakes. Mm. Oh my gosh. Let's see. It is so pretty. Does it look all cockeyed? Not too bad? No. Oh my gosh, friends. Let's see. What can I add to it? How about this gold bunny up at the top? <laughs> ah, maybe not. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you could tell how crooked it is with the bunny on top. Friends, right quick. I know I've made a mess here. I promise I'll be more organized in the next video. Um, when we went shopping this weekend, Eric and Leanna found these little signs at um, Michael's. Look at this. Is that not cute, friends? DIY till I die. That's me, Crafty Queen B. Okay. I'll have to put them on the set here. And then this one says, craftiness is happiness. Oh my gosh, are they not adorable? I'm just gonna set it up here. And they were only $2. They were on clearance for two bucks. And listen, friends, when we start having guests, when I start having guests come over, I don't know if anybody wants to come craft with me. They might be scared to <laughs> after my Leaning Tower of Cupcakes. But look, I found these beverage glasses, or rather they did too. I'll have for my guests, it says, Maker of Pretty Things. And this one says, this one's mine, Crafting Queen. Friends, how cool is that? Check out the sale at Michael's. I think these were $2 as well. Yeah, everything on the end cap was $2. Oh my gosh, friends. And briefly, right quick, I have something from a viewer and friend, and I'm gonna open it. Can you do it in front of, I can't see anything with that. I was. Okay, friends. Reusable face mask. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. My friends want me to be safe when I go to Dollar Tree. <laughs> That's what it all boils down to. Oh my gosh, it says, will, <laughs> will remove for wine. <laughs> oh, with Tinkerbell on it too. Oh my gosh, I love it. Jeannie, I love it. That is perfect. I don't know if anyone can hear what you're saying though, like that. This is perfect. It <laughs> says, we'll remove for wine. Friends, it's great to have friends. <laughs> I love that. Thank you, Jeannie. Love you to the moon and back. Oh. Spring is here and Easter too, bringing special thoughts of you. Oh, thank you, friend. Friends, I love y'all. Thank y'all for joining me today. I know things get kind of crazy and kind of goofy, but we have a lot of fun. Um, friends, don't let anyone dull your sparkle. See you next time. Bye. Oh, hold on, you don't have any crafts for the? What are you making this week? Oh, uh, this week I'm making those cute garden, the, the, um, a cute Easter decoration. You want me to show them? Sure, if you got something. Okay, well I showed them the last time, but um, hold on, oh. I'll be right back. Yeah. Friends, this is not completely finished. I still need to put the greenery on it, but remember I told you you might need some of these from the Dollar Trees, the candlesticks, and the candle plates, and then the candle holder. I'm making some of these cute things going to have the greenery at the bottom. They're little, um, these, I'm, I'm going to call them my little Easter gifts. And I have them, I'm going to make them in different sizes and, 
uh, have different decorations for the inside of them. So be sure and join me, all right? Love y'all.